Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. If you saw the title of this video and you're like, what? Him? No, he can't be. But, uh, yeah, I am. I'm finally done with Halo. From experiencing my brother getting death threats on Lockout to playing Donkey Kong on Forge World, Halo's been great. I've loved every moment of Halo. There's even elements of, like, Halo 4 and Halo 5 that I really love. But Microsoft's and 343's mentality of dealing with the status of Halo Infinite and Halo as a whole really make me second guess if they actually care about the core fans and they don't now i'm not opposed to the idea of bringing new players or new people into the halo franchise i think having more eyes on the thing is actually way better so why in the hell is 343 driving away old fans now i don't want to say anything is wrong with halo infinite in the core gameplay because there isn't there's not a single thing that i hate about halo infinite's gameplay except one it's very very vanilla now i'm not a chocolate guy i go for the cream and cookies every now and again the cookie dough is nice i love the cookie dough uh, i'm a big boy love that cookie dough but my favorite is usually vanilla but this is a little too much vanilla they put too much vanilla bean in the halo infinite abilities and gadgets have been in halo since halo 3 and halo infinite almost has nothing new aside from like the grapple hook which is awesome i feel like video games with advanced movement is a whole lot better than video games with non-advanced movement i'm not saying that call of duty infinite war is better than the others but advanced warfare and black ops 3 were a couple of the best games another great innovation that 343 had was picking up fusion coils and throwing them seriously actually really cool new innovative stuff but everything else is kind of the same i have nothing but great things to say about the sandbox and gameplay for halo infinite the only problem halo infinite has is the post-launch content i won't bore you with the same talk that every other halo youtuber has done so i'm gonna do this really quick in a list format here is what is wrong with halo infinite and its live service absurd shop prices that are now fixed repetitive content in the shop underwhelming updates temporary game modes if you're gonna have a cool game mode make it permanent good job fortnite on the whole no build thing good job absurd challenges no core leveling system only battle pass leveling system so are we gonna see in season two like i'm season two level 100 now baby but i only played the first season for a couple days so you don't really know what level i am there's only six 4v4 maps and three big team battle maps there's only four 4v4 game modes fiesta and swat finally showed up later and there's only two game modes unique to big team battle now i know our favorites like halo 3 only had like uh the same game modes but like on a bigger scale we don't even have territories we don't even have king of the hill the two game modes unique to big team battle are pretty fun but your choices are those two or uh, S Slayer. No specific game mode playlist except for Fiesta and SWAT. You can specifically go straight into those. Events not lasting long enough and then making those same events come back around too often. I'm sick of seeing Fracture Tenrai in my either sub feed or Twitter feed. I'm tired of it. Dreadful replayability. Again, I talked about the sandbox and how it's like super vanilla and like the gameplay isn't really new because there's no new maps or anything fresh right now. But don't worry, boys and girls. Season two, we got two whole new maps oh you know looking back on it maybe i'll come back whenever forge is released maybe that won't even be it maybe i'll come back whenever they have a server browser or a plethora of maps kind of like how halo reach halo 3 halo 2 halo combat evolved halo 4 halo 5 halo 3 odst that one didn't make sense but all these games have so many maps and this one has nine but if i'm actually going to be really honest with you i don't see myself playing halo for the next year or maybe even two years oh my god you're a halo fan but refuse to play it for up to two years that's got to be exaggeration right no and here's why new video games